And guys, this is video number two, driving Cybertruck on the Twister Road. I'm gonna put it in sport mode and no cars, let's go. We're in our lowest suspension setting. And this is uh, to see how Cybertruck safe or not in general, right? This is why we bring cars on the Twister Roads. If this is the first time watching my reviews, I typically do this because on the twister road we put everything more to the stress like to the test our steering most importantly our chassis everything gets to work a little bit more especially now i'm going a little bit downhill uh, i don't need to bring more speed in the corners now if you haven't watched video number one make sure to watch that video this is where i drove the car in the city and highway so here's the thing guys I found more respect for the Cybertruck after driving it on the Twister Roads. So why? Well, because for this huge 6,600 pound machine, look how well it handles corners. Now, of course, I'm not gonna go super fast, but this doesn't feel like driving a truck with the steer by wire, very pointy, very direct, and suspension, what it does, it kind of pushes it to the ground. Also, Tesla is the best demonstrator of low center of gravity. These batteries pull the car down and even a huge truck like this, it handles almost flat through the corners. I mean, look at this. The body does really good. Like when I go left, right quickly, the body just stays in a center planet. There's no wobbly motion. I was thinking like, will it be like horsey kind of? Will it wobble? Will it jump uh, in mid corners on the bumps? None of that. It stays very well connected. These tires behave pretty well. They're pretty grippy. Of course, this is nothing like super sporty, but I think this is one of the sportiest trucks. I'm curious about Rivian now, but this thing does pretty well. You can have fun in Cybertruck on back roads. Yes, it is heavy. I can tell that. I can tell that tires are more loaded in the corner and at a little bit higher speed they will start to slide but what I, what I also can tell is that how well this air suspension keeps it you know in the corner so they definitely tested this thing and man steer by wire is just the king here it's just the king it's so easy just you point it in a corner and the car holds this huge car has no trouble taking these corners uh, i don't have to use brakes in here uh, there's a little regen here but again the coolest thing i see it doesn't jump there's no side to side shift it just stays very planted. It's like kind of like pushed down. This is where you gain respect. You know, this is where cars like this gain respect because after driving it here, I understand more how it behaves and even driving it in the city, uh, I'll be more tuned in, in its, to its driving dynamics. And this is so cool about this Cybertruck. Very, very quick demo. Uh, of course, to experience this, you have to rent this car you know, bring it on twisted roads. Don't go crazy, don't go fast, even though it feels safe. This is the coolest thing that this car uh, gave me the info is that for such a huge car, tossing it in the corners, the chassis stays very well uh, planted and it expects all this and it knows what it's doing. So there's, it's not like I'm put, giving this car some type of a surprise. Like it's surprised, it's not ready for this. You know, it's like disconnected from it, from like front and rear. No, because of this steer by wire, it handles its uh, chassis effortlessly. I'm very pleased. All right, guys, let me go ahead and give my final verdict on a Cybertruck. So there you have it, guys. I just finished dynamic drive review of this 2024 Tesla Cybertruck Foundation Series Duo Motor. For video number one, I drove it in the city and highway, and video number two, I drove it on the twisty roads. Here's my final conclusion. Like I already mentioned in this video, there are three kind of categories that I found for people who are pretty much gonna consider or basically buy this truck. 
Now, the first category, we're very clear, the Tesla fans, right? They're just gonna go ahead and buy it outright. They're gonna find it very cool gadget and they're just gonna go jump in, no questions asked, very clear. Now, there's a second category of people who never owned their truck in their life and they're just gonna buy this because they just like different cars, they like the tech and they like what this has to offer, right? Uh, let's not forget, this is a truck, very tough body, but on the inside, like I said, it drives like a normal EV. What Tesla really did here, their philosophy is take this tough looking truck, but make it drive like a Model 3 basically, right? A big Model 3, meaning very crisp handling with the steer by wire, soft air suspension, but soft in the sense it's comfortable on the bumpy roads, but it's very well planted on the twisted roads in a sport mode. So they've done a phenomenal job here by taking a tough truck and make it drive very effortlessly. Now, but the third category of people are the ones who are gonna have a real trouble with this car is the ones who actually own trucks. Like if you have a Ford F-150, you have a Dodge Ram, Silverado, Tacoma, all these guys, they're gonna put a deposit on this Tesla because it looks tough, you know. Uh, they say, hey, you know what, this matches the EV that I would like to switch to, the looks of this car, but when they're actually gonna receive it and drive it, they'll be like, oh, no, no, it doesn't drive like a truck. It doesn't drive like Tacoma, it doesn't drive like anything. Uh, it doesn't even drive like a fake Honda Ridgeline truck. Uh, and these are the guys this is the category of people who have to basically rent this car from, like I said, places like Turo and literally spend maybe a day, two, three days. And maybe these are the guys who just need to clear it out of the system and continue with their classic trucks, you know? Or maybe they'll be keen on changing their mindset and basically switch to something like this. I hope I made it clear. Now, as for me personally, since I don't have a place to park this since i don't resonate with this size of the car i would not get it i am really cool and just renting it for the day driving it and then kind of like i said get it out of my system i am you know looking at tesla model 3 performance is something that would be closely matched to me right now um that's how it is basically. So this is exactly guys why a theme of my channel is rent before you buy because it matches your character, your personality with the right car. Now, is this the truck right for you? Let me know in the comments. I hope you found value in this video. I hope you liked this review. And if you wanna watch, watch more of my Tesla videos, I'm gonna link a playlist where you can watch more of such videos. And I'll catch you in my next video.